where to stay. I highly recommend staying in Harafu. This little town is in walking distance from the Niseko Grand Harafu lifts and gondola. The town has many shops, cafes, restaurants, food trucks, convenience stores, and several bars. Harafu accommodations are quite expensive in the winter and typically start at around 150 USD per night and range up to about $1,000 per night. There are hotels from 2 to 5 stars available. It is a good idea to book very far in advance, several months to a year. Outside of Harafu is Naseko Village. The name is a bit misleading because there's not many restaurants or shops nearby and it takes about a 12 to 15 minutes to drive from Naseko Village to Harafu. However, one key hotel is the Hilton in Naseko Village. From the Hilton in Naseko Village, you can walk right out to a gondola that will bring you to the top of the mountain where you can access all three resorts. Another area where you can stay is Kuchan. This is about a 15 minute drive from the ski resort and there is no passenger train that links the towns so I don't recommend staying here unless you have a rental car. However, if you do have a rental car and want to save some money, hotels and B&Bs are much cheaper in Kuchan than Harafu. Getting there. Most flights will bring you in to the new Chitose Airport CTS in Sapporo. If you're interested in renting a car, you can rent a car from the new Chitose Airport, but just note that to reach most of the car rental facilities, you'll need to take a shuttle bus several minutes down the road. Some of the rental locations close at around 7 or 8 p.m. as someone in my group found out the hard way, so make sure to check the specific rental locations website's times. Driving from the airport to the Rafu area takes a little over two hours normally, but may take up to three hours if road conditions are bad in the winter. If you're not interested in renting a car, maybe there's none available, which is often the case during the busy ski season, you can take the train. The train station can be reached in about 10 minutes by foot from the airport, and the one-way trip takes about four hours and costs around 3,700 yen, or 25 USD. You will likely have to transfer once in Otaru. It is also very important to note that the train ends in Kuchan, so if you plan on staying in Harafu, you'll have to take a cab the last few miles, approximately 15 minutes. Just arrived at Grand Hirafu Niseko. I uh, just picked up my lift ticket. You can reserve online U Niseko United Pass. I got a three day pass for this weekend. I'm planning to go every day Friday today through Sunday, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's snowing, coming down, looking great. So much snow here, super excited. Last night got in late around midnight and basically was able to get the late train from Sapporo, New Chitose Airport. Take that down, did two transfers at uh, Sapporo and Otaru and then got in like midnight. Fortunately, our friends had a van and were able to pick us up uh, in Kuchan, which is the nearest station about 15 minutes away. Staying at the B&B, Red Ski House, uh, super nice people, free breakfast included, but it's uh, definitely kind of dorm style. They have private rooms, but they're shared bathrooms. So if you're looking for a place to stay, affordable, but also a great location, close to the number three bus, which is a free shuttle bus that brings you around town, definitely recommend it. Uh, now gonna hit the slopes, meet up with some friends and uh, get into this powder. Tickets. I recommend buying a multi-day pass online ahead of time because it will save you money. A one-day pass for the 2023 to 2024 season costs 7,300 yen online and a three-day pass is priced at 21,000 yen. I'll post a link to the Niseko Hanazano website where you can purchase passes in the description. You can pick up your tickets with the QR code in your email at the base of the lifts. Just look for the black boxes inside the lodge, scan your code, and the machine will print your ticket. If you're not familiar with the lift system here, I recommend sticking the ticket in your left chest or arm pocket so the scanners register it and you don't get stuck at the turnstiles. Rentals and Ski Shops Arguably the best rental shop for skiers and boarders alike is Rhythm. They have everything from boots, boards, skis, and helmets for rent and purchase. You can even take the rental price off the cost of a new set of skis or board if you decide you love the equipment. There are other small rental shops in the area as well. I would just recommend checking Google Maps for those. Where to eat and drink. Cafes. 
Cafe Cubano's offers light sandwiches, coffee, and appetizers. We ate here and I personally recommend this spot. Indian. Taj Mahal Naseko Harafu. Ramen. A furry in Naseko Lodge. It's a bit fancier, but it was delicious and I can recommend this as well. Atsukasama and Barmoon is a small restaurant and I don't recommend it for groups above four. Tozankin Ramen is a typical ramen style bar, but it's usually very busy, so make sure you have enough time on your hands. For pizza, I recommend Lava Lounge. In my opinion, it was a bit overpriced, but it was tasty nonetheless. Food trucks. There are several food trucks around town, including the Yamasuke Sandwich and Deli. There's also Thai, Indian, Donor Kebab, and several others that serve coffee and drinks. For groceries, there's a Seiko Mart in town, and there's also multiple Lawson's. Bars, the Powder Room. This bar serves fancier cocktails and an upscale atmosphere. Freddy's, fun, loud music, good for a younger crowd. Wild Bill's, has a great dance floor, pool, darts. It's a fun place, highly recommend. Music Bar Mina Mina. It's a small but homey feel with records and good service. Definitely recommend for a quick happy hour or maybe a post dinner drink. There are several other bars and restaurants in town and if you have your own recommendations, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I highly recommend a trip to Niseko for anybody that's interested. The snow here is some of the best in Japan and that's saying something because Japan skiing and snowboarding is amazing. Please, please, please like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more travel videos and videos like this on snowboarding and skiing itineraries. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.